We'll have to figure it out. Maybe we'll just drive by it slowly. But we'll, that's one of the shots I'm trying to get. Yeah. So we just made it to Phillips, which is one of the most polluted towns in the country because of that thing right there, that refinery. And uh, we're just here to get a first-hand look at the effects that pollution has caused and talk to people here about it. This neighborhood's called the Bayway. Everyone here lives right up against the refinery. They can see it at all times. So you live right here? Right there. It's so calm here, it's the best thing. Well, you know what, I had a pool one time. And when I came back one day, and um, the chimney stacks act as a weather vane. But the wind's always blowing to sea. And when it's a rainy day, it turns around 190 degrees, you know, 180. And I got a nice little black soot. That's why I'm leaving in two years. <laughs> Can't get away from me. I'm gonna die either way. When it rains, it goes this way. And for some reason, they know that, and their stacks get higher, like they burn more shit, because, I don't know, like, I guess the humidity comes, you know what I'm saying, knocks half the shit down. Yeah. To where, like, maybe on a rain day, the EPA's not around. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I see the crank. I'll get a strong diesel smell in the sometimes. The cancer rate in Phillips is nearly 20 times the national average. You're more likely to die here from pollution-related diseases than anything else. I've never lived anywhere else, so I've got nothing to compare it to. You know, there's some problems, but you get used to it. And what's your name? Uh, Trey. It's mostly the water. They uh, do oil and natural gas here, so the air is bad already, but the chemicals they get in the water too. So, do you not drink from the tap then? Yeah, no. My dad goes out with these tanks and fills them with water from the store every week. He works the refinery, so he knows. I could show you something if you want to see. I'm making a record this. People say if you let it settle, it's fine to drink. I don't believe it. They gave us these like water filters or something, but. I mean, it clearly doesn't work. <laughs> One sec, I'll be right back. The Environmental Protection Agency has denied all claims that pollution is affecting people's well-being in Phillips. Community members have made complaints and filed reports of hazardous conditions, but so far no regulations have been put in place. For really? Yeah. Can you talk about it a little or no? So, you like, well, I'll be walking outside and the air is heavier. So, when, when you go outside, it's like you start coughing instantly. It was me and my brother. We were at the park, right? We were chilling. And I think it was one of those times when the air is like really foggy. He almost passed out because he couldn't breathe because he has asthma.
he's opening up, it's good. I really like him. He's like a, I think he's a really interesting character. Oreo. Oreo. It's been, this refinery's been here since what? The 30s maybe? 40? I don't even know how long, but yeah, it just does its thing there. I mean, years ago, they, I heard before I lived here that they used to give money to get your house, like, um, power washed because of, like, just the dust. I'm like, you know what? I live life. Whatever's supposed to happen happens, you know? Like, you have no control over it. These guys are walking around from a company to test your water to see if there is, like, cancerous items or whatever. But at the end of the day, they were trying to sell freaking water purifier. I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, there, there's pollutants in everybody's water. You know, it's not crystal clear. Like, You said your dad works at the refinery? Yeah. Um, he works in the office. What, is, what does your mom do? Do you not like it? No, I did. It was good. Just not really hungry anymore. Thousands of pounds of wastewater from the refinery accumulate in local rivers and creeks each year. People used to swim in them until someone saw black puddles floating around. It was too late. Many people got sick. Put up this fence to stop people from going in the water. Do people ever break in? Like it's it's knocked down. No, uh, people come to like smoke and stuff. No, not really. It's pretty dangerous. I think we could go like sit by that log over there, just for the movie. Like maybe you could sit there and I can ask you a couple questions or something. When's the last time you were here? It's been a while. When I was little, my mom, she used to take me. Do you stop coming when the city, like, banned people from swimming in it? No. It's always been like this for me. My mom, she just liked it because she used to swim here when she was younger. Did your mom get sick from the pollution? Yeah. Do you mind? Could you actually look more towards me for this shot? Can, can you just stop it, bro? What? Just turn the camera off. That's when we first saw you. Look. I've never lived anywhere else. It looks really cinematic. I see holes. Well, what are you gonna do with it? Well, first we have to like edit it and put it all together, you know, but I mean, I don't think a lot of people are making work about stuff like this, so it's important that we can use your story to shine a light on these environmental issues.